A Central Florida family purchased a new washer and dryer, but when the delivery men showed up at their home, months of trouble began. So they contacted News 6 investigator Mike DeForest to get some help. Tonight, he is getting results. Mike, this family had a frustrating experience. No doubt, Matt. Now, many of us have found ourselves waiting around the house for a delivery truck to arrive, say, between 7 o'clock and noon. This family says they waited multiple times, and each time there was a problem, then they could not get their money back. James Johnson needed a new washer and dryer, so back in November he went to Lowe's, where he found this set on sale and then scheduled a home delivery. So you picked a date? I picked a date. But when the delivery men arrived, Johnson says they had a dryer, but no washer. They only brought one? That was it. Unwilling to accept a partial delivery. I did not want to take possession of a single unit knowing I had paid for both. Johnson sent the dryer back and scheduled a new delivery date. He was not home when those delivery men returned. I get a phone call at work from my stepdaughter who's panicking. And she's like, your washer and dryer are both here, but the guy on the truck says that the washer is damaged. What? Yeah. So I said, no, I said, we're not taking damaged goods. Johnson returned to Lowe's where he says an employee promised him both items would be delivered the following week. Saturday rolls around. Now they show up with a washer, no dryer. Just one again. <laughs> one again. Dumbfounded, Johnson went to Home Depot where he bought this same washer dryer set. Both items were delivered that week. He also stopped by Lowe's again, demanding a refund for the appliances he never received from them. Johnson says he was told a $1,500 credit would appear on his Lowe's credit card. But when he checked the balance a few days later. No refund, no refund, not, 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 not a dime. After Johnson says he tried unsuccessfully for three months to get his money back from Lowe's, he had an idea. We watch Channel 6 News every morning, every morning. And I'm like, okay, I gotta give it a try, give it a shot. So you called News 6? I called News 6. That day, I sent an email to Lowe's corporate office. The company soon responded saying, our goal is to ensure we're providing a great experience for every customer. We apologize for the delays that Mr. Johnson experienced and regret that we weren't able to resolve this matter sooner. 24 hours later, Johnson got his $1,500 back. Man, they get results, absolutely get results. So I'm thrilled. As Johnson discovered, Lowe's uses a third-party company to deliver those large appliances. Lowe's has not indicated whether it has made any changes to that delivery process. Matt and Lisa. It was almost comical to hear that story, how uh, bad thing. I mean, you feel bad for the family, but it was like, what could so possibly go wrong? frustrating. Next? Mike DeForest, thank you.